Good morning. Welcome to the WTVA Business Showcase. I'm Robin Matkin with United Way of Northeast Mississippi. We help to fund 64 health and human service agencies across Northeast Mississippi. And one of those programs is Meals on Wheels. And I'm here at Traceway this morning with Don Steinman and Lynn Johnson, and they're going to tell us a little bit about Meals on Wheels. Good morning. Good morning, Good Robin. Good morning, Robin. Hey. Um, we have a new Meals on Wheels director, uh, Lynn Johnson. She'll be starting with us this month, and we're super excited to have her and uh, she's with us today. Welcome aboard. Thank, thank you, Robin, and thank you, Dawn. I'm very excited to be the new director of Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. um, as many of you know, Meals on Wheels is, it covers Lee County, mm -hmm. and it is through the Methodist Senior Services. And what we do is we deliver five hot meals a day to seniors that live at home that because they just want to be in the comfort of their home and they're not able to get out and and get their meal. We deliver the hot meal to them and then make sure that, just really make sure that they're okay. It might be the only person they see in a day. Right. So mm -hmm. it's, it's such a great service. And what United Way does for us is amazing. Um, at this time, we actually have 300 volunteers mm -hmm. that deliver to over 125 seniors and we have 40 on a waiting list and so our goal is to be able to fund as you know everybody every mm -hmm. elderly that is out there that needs a hot meal so but we are very thankful for United Way you actually at this point fund about half of what we need. Wow. So we are very grateful for everything you do for us. Well, great, and it's such a great program. And how do you identify the seniors who get to participate in Meals on Wheels? Well, we, um, we screen them, we go out, they call us, and then we screen them, we go out, we visit, and make sure that, you know, that they need the meal. And we usually talk to the family. Mm -hmm. The meals cost about $20 a week. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try to fund all that ourselves. Sometimes the family members do help us out, but we will be doing some fundraisers, uh, and you'll be seeing our name out there a lot. So yes, uh, we're going to be out there. Lynn's going to be out there trying to raise money because we don't want anybody on the waiting list. Yeah, great. Well, thank you all so much. And if you want to learn more, visit unitedwaynems.org so you can make a donation. And be sure to tune in tomorrow to the WTVA Business Showcase.